and two cups of some other fruit. In this case, I used green grapes. Okay, so grapes, once again, really high fructose content and glucose. We already know, by the way, glucose is not something you want to be oxidizing because glucose, not only is it not preferred by the heart because we already know the heart prefers ketones, we also know the brain prefers ketones as well. And not only that, glucose oxidation produces more reactive oxygen species because more NADH is made and that goes to complex one and complex one is more prone to electron leakage. Once again, this is not what you want. All right, so in this video, we are going to be reviewing what I eat in a day from a plant-based nutrition, a guy named Minus the Gym or something on YouTube. So I already see, once again, you already know how I see plant-based nutrition, but we're gonna end up um, reviewing what he has to say on it. We're gonna look at the biochemistry behind it a little bit. So you'll be able to see, once again, what I see, and you'll be able to understand a little bit more on how exactly this functions in your body. So yeah, let's get to it. All these ingredients inside of it from last night when I prepared it. Three handfuls. Okay, so we already know this one is kale. Um, insanely high amounts of oxalates. You don't want oxalates at all. They bind to minerals. You don't want um, them binding to your minerals. Not only that, oxalates actually do inhibit my macrophages, meaning they inhibit the innate immune system. Not healthy, something you want to avoid. Um, of spinach okay just like if you look at bananas for instance every single time i see a banana i i look at it and i go like that is so unnatural because if you look at how bananas used to look they are nothing close to this it's insane they are completely different all of these everything that he's probably about to show because i'm pretty sure there's more i'm pretty sure these are mangoes in the background uh they are nothing close to quote unquote natural they, don't, they never existed in nature before. They're filled with glucose and fructose. Once again, filled with fructose. Higher, higher amounts of AGES or um, advanced glycation end products caused because we already know fructose binds and causes glycation eight to 10 times more effectively than glucose. So not healthy. Three bananas, really ripe bananas, by the way. Three tablespoons of hemp seeds. Okay, so like... If you were to ever try to get this in nature, it'd be impossible. Getting this level of hemp seeds is insane. That's very, very difficult. So yeah, this is, once again, this is just crazy. Like the amount of time it would take is ridiculous. All of this stuff is, once again, it's not natural. It's def it's not natural. Not only is it not natural, it's something you want to be avoiding because it has high, once again, high polyunsaturated fat content, high glucose, high fructose content. Um, this one, protein, once again. Okay, so it says 10 grams of protein. That doesn't mean that it has 10 grams of usable protein in it. But it's not how plants work because we already know based on amino acid content and how amino acids work, it's always based on the weakest link. So if you have very, very low of one specific amino acid, that um, one essential amino acid like threonine, for instance, you have very low amounts of threonine, but you have ev every single other essential amino acid really high, doesn't matter about their levels. It all, it all comes down to threonine's level. It's all based on the weakest link. So once again, this is why you see many vegans are emaciated. It's because they're getting no protein whatsoever because they can't absorb any of it. So already we've covered, um, we've covered quite a bit. And two cups of some other fruit. In this case, I used green grapes. Okay, so grapes, once again, really high fructose content and glucose. We already know, by the way, glucose is not something you want to be oxidizing because glucose one, not only is it not preferred by the heart, because we already know the heart prefers ketones, we also know the brain prefers ketones as well. And not only that, glucose oxidation produces more reactive oxygen species because more NADH is made, and that goes to complex one, and complex one is more prone to electron leakage. Once again, this is not what you want. I added one cup of cannellini beans to my smoothie. Okay, um, yeah, this is, you definitely want to avoid beans. Beans have lectins. And if you have gut autoimmune problems, these things will kill your stomach. And I mean, destroy your stomach. They destroyed my stomach. That's for sure. Um, avo avoid this stuff. Do not eat this stuff. It's not healthy. Okay. Adding one cup of any white beans like Navy or Great Northern or cannellini adds about 15 grams of protein and you hardly even notice it's there. Yeah. Once again, this is not how protein works. 
you're not getting protein. It's based on amino acid content. So unless you're mixing tons of different things, which have, which end up managing to balance each other's amino acid content, and you actually get a decent amount of amino acids out of it by balancing tons of these other things, which it's like, it, it's so tedious and so difficult to do. Or you could just eat meat and eggs if you want even more eat eggs. Once again, it's like, why would you do this? Some leftover quinoa on hand from a previous meal earlier in the week. Okay, so yeah, this once again, you don't want you don't want any of this stuff. It's not high in protein because you can't actually absorb it. It's all based on amino acid content, and unless you're mixing this with tons of other things, you're not going to get enough amino acids, and you will become emaciated. It was still good, so I decided to use it. And to put on the quinoa, I decided to go with some fruit. So I chopped up a couple of these yellow Atolfo mangoes. They are my favorite fruit. I love Atolfo mangoes. These things probably put me in the hospital multiple times. These were the things that really screwed me up. I My stomach got destroyed by these things. Mangoes were terrible. So, oh my God, it's bad vegetables like I had the sweet peppers here the tomatoes the green onion I got some black olives there more cilantro put it all on a plate like this just so we could grab what we want and then this is some it's called beefless ground by a company called Gardein I get this from the grocery store and I cooked that up in water like once again why meat free like it's crazy they will do anything to mimic the taste of meat because meat tastes so good. There is no meat product mimicking the taste of plants because plant tastes so good. No. See, <laughs> once again, this is just another indicator. It's like, if why, why eat the meatless version when you can just eat the meat version? Why do you need all of this like synthetic stuff? It doesn't make any sense. This is not normal. You'll never find this ever in nature. And not only that, zero milligrams cholesterol. You want cholesterol. Because what is, what is cholesterol important for? You need enough testosterone produced by cholesterol. DHT, cholesterol. Estrone, estradiol, estriol, aldosterone, corticosterone, cortisol, allopregnenolone, pre pregnenolone. I mean, all of this. Where does it come from? Cholesterol. So if you're not getting enough cholesterol, you're not getting enough hormones. Once again, this is, you're not getting adequate amounts of hormones, which is why when you lower cholesterol suddenly by 30 milligrams per deciliter, somehow all cause mortality is increased by 22%. Minnesota Coronary Heart Survey. I wonder why. Turns out because you're not able to produce the hormones that you need, the correct hormones. It's insane. I wanted to use up in the fridge, so I went ahead and just boiled that broccoli for three minutes. It's that simple, you just bring water to a boil, three minutes in there, stirring it around, and that's the perfect way to cook broccoli. All right, I'm gonna say at the very least, if you do eat vegetables, cook them. Cook them to death. Like, you wanna remove as much of the phytotoxin content in there as possible. And one way to do that is cook it. So I'll, I'll say good job on that part at the very least, because you don't wanna eat them raw. That's the last thing you wanna do. That is terrible. The meal with my phone. But here you go. We did a build your own taco night. That's a plate full of raw veggies. And we got corn tortillas, black beans, and some guacamole and salsa for condiments. Yeah, once again. I don't know. This doesn't even look like food to me anymore. Beans, lectins, corn. I mean, it just looked like corn before. Corn looks nothing like that you couldn't even get one of those little kernels out of a old corn because old corn literally was like inedible crazy all of this is just once again this is not if you really think if you're really against this so-called um gmo thing and you want organic food this is not organic this is also genetically modified all of this is genetically modified the only difference between this genetically modified food that we have in today's day and age and the genetically modified food that we had like 200 300 years ago is the fact that it's been it takes a little bit more generations in order to give the perfect breeding of what you're looking for to eat in terms of taste because obviously people's taste buds are very um 
favored towards heavy glucose and heavy sugar stuff right now. Once again, that's what happens when you mess up leptin and then suddenly you start realizing, oh my God, why is, why is there an obesity epidemic? Oh my God, why, why are everybody having heart attacks? Why, why is everybody having all these problems? Why is acne existing? Why is this existing? Why are people going bald? Why is PMS and PCOS existing? I wonder why. Turns out when you don't have, when you're not eating what you're supposed to be eating, uh, animal starts to deteriorate. Who would have thought? Doesn't matter which one it is. Every single one of them. So yeah, shame. All right, so this one was actually pretty short um, because there wasn't really anything else that I could really say it was worth critiquing. Everything else was pretty much, um, hey, this is my, this is what I eat and then this is my exercise. Um, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful and informative or the biochemistry and you're really interested in that stuff, then please check out my channel because I talk all about biochemistry. A lot of it right now anyways is uh, pretty much biochemistry and nutrition based. And if you want to see all my videos ahead of time, please click the join button down below. And if you really want to help the channel grow, please like, subscribe and comment down below. It really does help the channel grow. And if you are interested in my luck videos and you're interested in more so the anecdotal evidence behind things of like how I see the world, then click the uh, Patreon thing. Go join my Patreon and you can see my videos there. I don't plan on making the um, non heavily evidence based videos on this channel because I don't think that it suits this channel. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Pew.